Yeah, good, okay. So, we are confused, that's okay. How are you? I am confused. How is she? She is confused. We're talking about feelings, emotions today. And we can use the, we can use the verb to be, to talk about these things. I am okay, she is okay. I am okay, negative, I am not okay. She is okay, negative, she is not okay. In the past, this is the present simple, in the past simple, how were you yesterday? Well, I was okay yesterday. How was he yesterday? I didn't write that up there, let me just write that up there very quickly. How was he yesterday? Well, he was okay yesterday. The verb to be, we can use the verb to be to talk about some really basic things in the present simple, in the past simple. I am Mike, I am 51, I am not 49. Yesterday I was at my friend's house. The verb to be. It's quite simple. The problem comes when we need to use present simple or past simple using other verbs. This is where things get a little bit more challenging. We've got more stuff to learn. But the verb to be is one verb. We use this structure in present simple and past simple with one verb. Present simple and past simple with all other verbs, we need to use this structure. This structure is for all verbs. This is just one verb. This is the structure we really need to learn, guys. So here is week number three. We're looking at this structure. So instead of saying, how are you? We're saying, how do you feel? It's the same question. And of course, if someone said to you, how do you feel? You can still go over here and go, yeah, I'm okay. But we want to learn this structure. So let's go through it slowly together. How do you feel? I feel good. How does he feel? He feels good. We need to remember, I feel good, you feel good, we feel good, they feel good. He, she, it feels good. So when we're talking in the positive, are you, we, they feel, he, she, it feels. I've highlighted this here. Also, for the question, how do you feel? How do I feel? How do we feel? How do they feel? I feel good, you feel good, we feel good, they feel good. How does? How does he feel? How does she feel? How does it feel? He feels good, she feels good, it feels good. Negatives, I feel good, I don't feel good. I don't feel good, you don't feel good, we don't feel good, they don't feel good. He feels good, he doesn't feel good. She doesn't feel good, it doesn't feel good. We need to remember, in the present simple, when we use I, you, we, they, we just use the verb, feel, I write, I go, I love. But for he, she, it, in the positive, he feels, she feels, it feels, I, he loves, she writes, he reads, it likes. We need to remember this sound. But in the negative, as soon as we use the auxiliary verb do, whether it's a question, or if it's a negative, the main verb is always present simple first person, always infinitive for questions and for negatives. Because we use the auxiliary verb do or does or don't or doesn't, the main verb is always present simple first person, infinitive. It's only positive sentences in present simple for he, she and it, where we say he feels, she writes, it likes. And that is everything you need to know about present simple. 
So it's a little bit challenging because we have do and does, we have don't and doesn't. It's a little bit challenging. But this term, we need to remember this, but this term we're doing the past simple. And I think past simple is easier and more difficult. It's easier and more, it's both. I'll show you why. So, in the past simple, we don't use do or does because that's present. We use did because that's the past. So for questions, we say, how did you feel yesterday? And then for positive sentences, we need to use the verb in the past tense. So here it's, I felt good yesterday. How did he feel yesterday? He felt good yesterday. Now, the bad news, you need to learn the verbs in the past. That's the bad news. Good news, only one verb. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, felt. So in the present, we have to learn I, you, we, they, feel, he, she, it, feels. But in the past, we just need to learn the one verb for everything. Okay? But remember, remember, when it's negative, you're using the auxiliary verb do in the past. I didn't feel good yesterday. He didn't feel good yesterday. Remember that the main verb is present simple first person because we're using the auxiliary verb do. Whenever we use the auxiliary verb do, does, don't, doesn't, did, didn't, remember did or didn't as well, the main verb, the main verb is always present simple first person. How did he feel yesterday? I didn't feel good yesterday. How did you feel yesterday? He didn't feel good, I didn't feel good. So in summary, just to summarise, I've written this little thing on the back. Here we go. So this is what I was writing in secret earlier on. When we talk in the present simple, I, you, we, they, feel, he, she, it, feels. I, you, we, they, don't, feel, he, she, it, doesn't, feel. So it's just exactly the same, but I've just summarised it like this. And this is the same in the present simple for all verbs of the English language, all of them. I feel, I write, I go, I love, I see. He feels, he sees, he loves. Negative, we just use the infinitive. I, you, we, they don't feel. He, she, it doesn't feel. So in the negative, we just have to focus on the auxiliary verbs, negatives and questions. Now in the past, in a way it's easier because you just have one verb for I, you, he, she, it, we or they. I felt, you felt, he felt, she felt, it felt, we felt, they felt. And for the negative in the past, we need to use the auxiliary verb didn't. And because we're using that auxiliary verb, the main verb is always present simple first person. I didn't feel, you didn't feel, he didn't feel, she didn't feel, it didn't feel, we didn't feel, they didn't feel. And that is what we're going to be learning every week for the next seven weeks. This is week number three, well done.